that'd be sterling. What will happen when we open the vault and welcome Antonio Freeman? Look at that smile. I think we're going to get our own show. That's what I think. What, you <laughs> it, oh, 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 he's black and he flashed some bling. He's cool. Too. Come on in. We're live on Game Day First. It is time now to go into the vault here at NFL Films, which is home to the world's largest sports film library, storing more than 100 million feet of football action. Among the many treasures there is this little beauty from 13 years ago. Third down, four from the 43. Far lays it up for Freeman, and it's incomplete. It, or did he, can he make the catch at the 15? Yes. What are they going to rule it? He caught it. Touchdown. <laughs> he did what? It never hit the ground. It hit the back of Antonio Freeman. Did you know you were going all the way on that one? My eyes stayed with the ball, and I got a lucky bounce. We needed a lucky bounce, and it's going to get us a victory. What a night that was. I happened to be there. I heard you. <laughs> I don't think anyone knew he made that catch but him. It was chaos, absolute chaos on the sidelines. I remember that. But uh, we welcome Super Bowl champion Antonio Freeman to our set. Great to have you. Thanks for having me. And it's, it, it's weird that that's 13 years ago. I mean, I guess I'm getting old here now. No. Not sit next to him. You're fine. <laughs> We're all getting old. We got a lot of, and we got a lot of bling on this set. Everybody's got their uh, their Super Bowl rings. Here we go. Okay, so this one right here. So that that catch before was it your favorite or most impressive catch? No, no, it wasn't. So, so what was? Well, I had to go Super Bowl 31. I mean, anytime you're on a grand stage like Super Bowl 31, and you get an opportunity at that time to have the longest touchdown reception in Super Bowl history, mm. that's pretty special. You and my old quarterback getting together. I remember talking to you before the game, and you were really relaxed. You were you were loose, and I, and I was like, "Hey, man, this this feeling right here." I said, "You know, I, I played for seven years trying to get this." I said, "What are you going through?" And you like, "Man, I'm just excited. I'm just ready to go." And I was like, "Hey, man, e easy. E hey, we didn't kick it off yet, but it was beautiful watching you and my old quarterback get to, get it together, and then my old team. I mean, that was." That was tremendous, watching the Green Bay Packers finally get the trophy that Lombardi built back home. Well, your career ended in 94. Yeah, his, yeah. And, with and his, his beginning. Started, yeah. but, know, they they, but even if I hadn't gotten hurt, they were still going to probably draft. They, you know, they were going to draft a wide receiver. And he was one of those guys. I mean, and I, I say this in all honesty, he's one of the best slowest receivers I've ever had the pleasure of breaking down. Is that a, is that a, That's a compliment? No, no, because Chris Carter's in the Hall of Fame, and he never ran by anybody, but he was always open, and Free was that guy. He always managed to get open. And, I mean, just he just outslowed everybody. Well, I had good film to watch. I had to watch you when and I got in. Sterling and I, have, I mean, uh, Sean and I have been on the outside looking into your all your personal stories that you guys have been sharing all morning, and since we have two wide receivers on the set, we got to talk wide receivers. Sean, you'll get a word in edgewise in just a minute. Sure, I'll be right here. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. Um, all right, so, Antonio, let's start with you. Give us a guy, you know, not a Calvin Johnson, not a Larry Fitzgerald, but a wide receiver that you watch every Sunday who might fly under the radar. I look at a guy who was at the Calvin Johnson level a few years ago, and that's Greg Jennings. Greg Jennings is a guy that played with Brett Favre, a Hall of Famer. Played with Aaron Rodgers, a future Hall of Famer, and now he takes his talents to Minnesota, where unfortunately he's playing with Ponder. Ponder he's who's not going to go to the Hall of Fame. Exactly. Yeah. And this week he's already playing with his second quarterback in Matt Castle, when he only had two quarterbacks his entire time in Green Bay. So he's always a guy that I'm willing to watch because he left for the money. We just want to see how he really puts it all together. I'm going to piggyback that whole thing, and I, you know, I'm going to turn it back to how you played, and you were a technician. And I got two guys that just, you know what? You got to be able to get in and out of your breaks in our league. I can take West. I can take watching Wes Welker all day and twice on Sunday. He techniques you to death. Julian Edelman, same guy. They get in and out of their breaks. They're not big. They're not fast, but they always seem to be open. And let me tell you something. Will you run four two or four nine? If you can get in and out of your break, remember there is a place for you in our league. And then they also have great hands. And remember, I always tell you, without your hands, your feet gonna be without a job. Yeah.
Yeah, well, you're talking about getting in and out of breaks. There's one guy that I think is doing just as good a job as Wes Welker, and his name is Victor Cruz. That's right, New York Giants. You know him from this and from the Salsa. And the one thing that Sterling made fun of Freeman for about lack, lack of speed, this guy has it. So he gives you Wes Welker, and then he also gives you big play potential because over the last few years, Sterling, nobody has had more touchdown catches of 70-plus yards than this guy. Mm -hmm. He's got seven of them. The next guy on the list is Julio Jones down in Atlanta. So this guy, he, he, he creates separation, and, and that's what quarterbacks love, having that space, and he makes a big play. He could turn a five-yard out route, mm -hmm. shake and move. We saw him do that to Antonio Camardi a couple years ago, and they went on to win a Super Bowl. So I like that guy. Question is, are we going to see one of those today against the Kansas City Chiefs? They need a few. <laughs> <laughs> Your Green Bay Packers aren't playing today, so you guys can, uh, can yeah. rest easy. Mm -hmm. we'll, tell, we'll just talk amongst ourselves. <laughs> you no guys mind. go ahead. We'll be modular Turn over here. Turn your back, to us, be modular. <laughs> All right, uh, find out how the favorite wide receivers fared today with game day highlights. Get all your analysis and post-game reaction from the locker rooms at 7.30 Eastern right here on NFL Network. You don't even have to change the channel. Coming